Lizzie, welcome back. Great to be here. Can you believe we are on the final episode of season three? Wow, episode 10. Yeah, went really quickly, didn't it? It has, and it's been three seasons, 30 episodes. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and actually, this is the first season that we've done here. And of course, in the meantime, we've been renovating. Yeah, I think when we started season one, I remember thinking, God, it's a real pain, like driving into the city. Uh, it'd be so much easier <laughs> if we had our own building. <laughs> yeah, because that's what most people would think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I know. And so we bought a building and we completely gutted it and revamped it. Really easy stuff. Yeah, no, it was no. really incredibly hard, wasn't it? Do you know, the, the entire year's been hard. When I think of... This whole episode really feels like the end of an era mm. and the end of the building phase, the end of writing the book, the end of the season. It's been a big challenge. And I think um, having someone in your life that challenges you and something in your life that challenges you is really important. Yeah, I'd agree. Next week, we're off to Germany. Oh, yeah. Now, that's not... You see, that actually doesn't sound like a challenge to me. That sounds like a well-deserved break. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some family time, but we're also we're going to mix in a little bit of business because um, the one thing the studio has been missing is a record lathe, a vinyl lathe. A vinyl lathe. Yeah. So to make vinyl records to make vinyl records you know because how cool there's no one in the north island as far as i know if there is anyone let me know but uh, as far as i know there's no one in the north island of new zealand making vinyl wow so you'll be able to record in the studio print do you print to vinyl is that you what you lathe. say you, you lathe. hand lathe the vinyl with the, i think it's done with a diamond cutter yeah and um so the lathe i have to go to germany and we have to do some training learn how to do it and that's when we can import the lathe the whole thing is, I've always wanted to have like maybe a live band in here recording. We either record direct to vinyl and stick it in the jukebox. Hey, that would be so cool. Yeah, you can have your record release party here at Studio 38. Exactly, and we can hand lay the vinyl for, um, you can sell it at your gigs and things like that. You know, something a bit more exclusive, a bit more boutique. Well, and that's a great idea for musicians. I think so. So, hey, what musicians are recording in the studio right now? Well, we've got a few. <laughs> and right now we have Apollo Steam Train. Cool. And they're about to do a song for us. Well, let's hear it. Let's do it.
Thank good. you. Mm. Thanks. Great stuff. I just... Oh, that was so good. Thank you. Thank and I you. love the harmonies and all that in there as well. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you so much. So listen, that song's been on Shortland Street, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Go you! How yeah. famous are you? <laughs> well, but you never know when it's going to be on. They don't tell you when no. it's going to be on. I've heard that actually. Mm. It's so that you have to watch Shortland Street for the Every rest of your episode. life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So listen, what are you guys working on now? Um, so we're working on a new single, um, which we're just in the process of, of packaging up. Yeah. So somewhere around 10, 10 weeks, maybe. A release strategy is yeah. really what we're working on right yeah. now. Yeah. So we have product. We just need to figure out how to to put it out there. Mm. So actually, when you're working on that, you know, aside from the writing the songs and the creative stuff, the release stuff, is that kind of a bit harder and a bit more dull? Dull. <laughs> do, long, yeah, do, yeah. do involved, musicians like involved. doing all that or not so much? Well, you, ha you have to link it to people who know how to do that. Yeah. Mm. Very strategic. Mm, very yeah. strategic, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you just sort of throw it out there into the market these days, it gets lost in the wash pretty quickly. So yeah. um, planning. Planning? Yes, planning absolutely. Yeah. You know, we have been lucky to have a, a mentor in, in, the, in the name of, of That's true. Um, James Southgate. So, mm. Right, James, you know, some of very, Yeah, you know, some mm. very, very knowledgeable people are helping, are helping us, so it's wonderful. I mean, when you yeah. think about it, most artists begin as their own managers anyway. You know, yeah. No one thinks, I'm going to learn how to play guitar, I need a manager. Yeah, yeah well, it's you yeah. that decided to go mm. and record something in yeah. the first place, or even sure. get up on a stage and try and play. So Yeah, mm. absolutely. Yeah. It all starts with you. It does, it's great yeah. to have a good team around you, and the MMF and Songbroker are good parts of your team. Well, absolutely. actually, that is a great great advice for anyone, whether they're a musician or in uh, business. Absolutely. Get a good team around and, you. And if you're the smartest guy on your team, there's something wrong with your team. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is true. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thanks for having Thank us. you.